<laughs> hey guys, so welcome back to Life with Lee. On this week's episode, we're going to be discussing the five love languages since I know some people are really familiar while others are completely unfamiliar and they can really impact and affect how we interact with people, how we receive love, how we give love. Um, so let's jump right in. Okay, so I think the most important thing would be to start actually defining what the words, blah, 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 what the love languages are. So as I said, there's five um, and they were coined as something, you know, relevant in 1992 when Gary Chapman created his book. Um, it, you know, it outlines the five different ways that romantic partners express and experience love, which then coined the term love languages. And as I said, the five are receiving gifts, um, acts of service, words of affirmation, physical touch, and quality time. So there are different quizzes out there that will ask you an array of questions um, that kind of measure which one you prefer and then your score will tell you have to see which one's your number one and how each of those rank so I do believe some of the questions I received when I first you know were taking it and my quiz has changed over time so my results have changed over time um, so to begin with I had words of affirmation and that made a lot of sense to me um, since I'm such a sensitive person and nice words and compliments really make my day um so i was actually really surprised to have taken the quiz again maybe a week or two ago to have my results change so some questions were like would you prefer um your significant other to tell them to tell you that they're proud of you versus you getting to spend an uninterrupted day with them and so that's just like an example of some of the questions they might have asked so let's get into my results okay so let me pull it up here so this time around, um, I scored 32% for quality time. And I feel like that makes sense as well, just because I really, when I like someone, I love to be up under them. Like I could spend all day with them and then be sad when they're leaving for 24 hours and then I get to see them tomorrow. So spending quality time is really important to me. And it doesn't even have to be, you know, going on extravagant dates, but I really just like to be in my significant other's company. Um, then I scored a 29 on receiving gifts and I think my last relationship really affected that because that was the first time I felt like I wasn't the only one giving and he was very attentive and you know I felt like I was spoiled a little bit a lot of it um, but that was something that I haven't experienced in my previous dealings with men so when he would buy me you know Christmas presents, birthday presents, treat me to dinner, to get my nails done, to get my hair done. I think that really affected what I generally like since that became my second most important. And it's not like it's a, it has to be there, but I'm like a kid on Christmas. Like just to think like he thought of me and like, oh, I like this. Like I really, really enjoyed that. Um, next, I scored a 16% on words of affirmation coming in at my third I think because this quiz, it was more like if your partner tells you I love you or that they're proud of you and the other options just were better for me, but that doesn't mean that it's still not important to me. Like I do like to hear compliments. I do like to hear that I'm they're proud of me. I do like to hear I love you. So, you know, that's another big thing. Although they're ranked in a certain order, all of these are really important to me it's just some are a little bit more so the next one was acts of service i'm surprised that one wasn't last just because i'm more of like a fuck it i'll do I didn't like curse. F it i'll do it myself person and especially the things that i really struggle with like assignments in school if someone's like how can i help you know, a lot of guys that I've talked to in my past haven't necessarily been in the same settings that I have to be able to help or in the same major, in the same, you know, just, you know, field to really offer assistance in the way that I would need it for them to actually help. Like, I do appreciate appreciate the emotional support, you know, helping me out in that way. However, like being able to go proofread my essay and look, make sure my APA sources are correct, like that necessarily doesn't always happen to me uh, when I'm in relationships. So that's why I'm surprised it wasn't last. Other acts of service that I could think of, like 
I don't know, like I don't wanna, I never want someone else to go out of their way for me. And even though it may not be going out of their way, it makes me uncomfortable feeling like I am putting them in a position where they're going out of their way. Like if I have to go to the store, and I have to go get gas, I have to do all this for my friend's birthday party or whatever. And then someone offers like, I can go do this for you. And I'm just like, no, it's fine. Like I already got a list, I already got it planned out. I got it, I can do it. I'm just stressed. So I feel like it's hard for me to also um, give up my reins of control which is an issue that I've noticed. I kind of am a control freak. I like to have things planned out, to know what's going on, when they're gonna happen, um, the execution of things. I like to see it done and done well. And I don't wanna say I'm a perfectionist because then my procrastination wouldn't really be in there, but I do like to get things done myself. So that's why I'm really surprised it wasn't last. And my last, the one that ranks last was physical touch, which I'm also really surprised about. Like I love cuddles and kisses and holding hands and, massages like I love physical touch which is why I think it's really important that just because one of them ranks last on your list it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not important it just means that the others you can see why they're more important so that's why I said I really do feel each one of these love languages like tenfold it's really just about which one makes the most sense in that moment and they can change as you as i've said like words of affirmation used to mean the world to me and now it really is quality time um and i think it's really important if you're dating someone to kind of know and really know how you like to be loved and how what that looks like and you know it might not be 100% for everyone but I feel like the quizzes are pretty accurate since there's no right or wrong answer it's just what your preference is and I feel like having your partner know you in that way can really benefit things you know and everyone's is different like my best friends they would love to have someone, you know, help them with an errand, do those acts of service for them. With me, I'd much rather just lay around all day. And like I said, they're, just because it ranks in, you know, one order doesn't mean it's less important as I keep reiterating because I feel like that's really important. Um, so yeah, that was the majority of this video. Short, simple, sweet. I highly recommend you guys to take the quiz. I'm going to link below the one that I took. Um, I'm sure there's others out there, but there's also like an apology language as well. It's like how you like to be apologized to. I think these are all really important things to know about yourself so that someone else can know and learn you in a way that is beneficial so it's not just like i didn't know or da, 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 but i know you i know Aaliyah, and i know that she likes you know to spend time with me so i will allocate certain times that i will hang out with her and it'd be all us i know Aaliyah. i know she likes words of affirmation it's not gonna hurt me to tell her oh you look beautiful today oh da, 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 da. oh congrats you did this da, 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 da. And if you think that's too much to do for a person, then honestly, I feel like you're not ready to be giving that to someone. And that's cool. That's fine. But, you know, a little bit can go a long way. So thanks for tuning in to this week's video. Um, it's been a minute. Hopefully I get a little bit more consistent with my videos. Um, but that's all. There's just to update you on my life. I graduated college. Um, I have my BS in criminal justice. I am currently in school getting my master's in criminal justice, as you can see. That's how I feel about it. Um, I'm gonna also be running track, God willing, with the whole virus going on, um, and hopefully going to law school next year. So that was just a little check-in. Like, subscribe, uh, follow me on my social medias. Definitely follow me on TikTok because... I like that. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day, guys.